Greetings, my name is Pete Sorensen. I am an adjunct instructor at the University of North Texas in Dallas, Texas. I am uh, here today to go over the syllabus for the Business Ethics and Social Responsibility class, which I am teaching on Thursday afternoons. Unfortunately, I couldn't be with you today, and so I'm doing this recording to give you a summary uh, or overview of the syllabus. Uh, the syllabus is uh, fairly thorough and has a good explanation of what we're going to be doing and of the requirements that uh, uh, will be made of you in order to be able to do well and succeed in the class. And I do want you to do well and to succeed, but in order to do that, you're going to have to do the work. Okay, so take a look at page one of the syllabus that uh, I believe Sarah Brady has given to you and um, says uh, that uh, we're going to be together uh, uh, and, uh, well, okay, that be together part is on the second page. So on the first page, it's talking about how I'm going to be communicating with you. I'll be using your UNT email account. Most of my communication is going to be coming through the uh, My UNT portal, where I'll be sending group messages to you. Uh, so that will be our primary form of communication, although uh, we will also be, uh, I'm sure, in some cases anyway, uh, using the, uh, the Outlook web mail uh, application. I'll be using with uh, my interaction with you the email address that is my UNT email address that's here on the syllabus, peter.sorensen at unt.edu. <clears throat> uh, we will uh, also have access to the Learn, the Blackboard Learn, uh, all of the handouts materials that I expect you to work with are going to be uh, housed uh, uh, in little folders on Blackboard Learn that's listed for your course. And uh, so you'll have everything you need at your fingertips. Uh, also, um, there's going to be a plan of the week. And now the syllabus kind of gives us the general outline of things. The plan of the week that I'll be submitting to you or giving to you every week will give some detail about what's going to be going on each week. And uh, so that's how we'll govern the weekly activities is through that plan of the week. Going on to page two, uh, we're meeting at room 304, which is right across from the cube farm that we adjunct instructors are housed in uh, on the uh, third floor of building number two. Uh, we'll be meeting Thursdays 4 to 650. Uh, the library is an important thing for you. Encourage you to look at the online <laughs> electronic library. <coughs> there will be valuable information um, <clears throat> available to you at the library resources. It's a great resource. The book, Business Ethics, Case Studies, and Selected Reading, 7th edition from Marianne Jennings, is an excellent book. We will be referring to it quite frequently. And uh, in the plan of the week, I'll be pointing out specific things that you need to be paying attention to, uh, to in the book. The goal of this course is to help you learn how to think rigorously about ethics and about being socially responsible uh, uh, as people and members of organizations and to get you to think about what do I need to do to be able to personally live ethically? Uh, how do I, in my role as a human being, as an organizational citizen, or as a leader in an organization, how do I make choices that are good choices in regard to ethics and business social and, and social responsibility? There are a bunch of terms that you're going to need to ma gain mastery over, uh, stuff like ethics and character and integrity, um, and you're going to have to understand that, uh, uh, that you're surrounded by ethical issues and ethical dilemmas and that that's going to be the case for the rest of your life. You are going to be facing a lot of ethical dilemmas. There's even kind of a cycle that I'll talk about in terms of the cyclical nature of the ethical dilemmas that we face. You'll need to learn how to apply the models uh, and, uh, and tools and approaches uh, to analyzing, synthesizing uh, ethical dilemmas and situations. Analyzing is where you're taking things apart. Synthesizing is where you're putting things back together. Analyzing allows you to look at discrete parts. Synthesizing puts you back in touch with a whole. And 
when you get that whole picture perspective, you have an opportunity to do a better job of gaining long-term insight about ethical dilemmas. But you can't do effective synthesis without doing some analysis. So they go hand in hand to each other. Um, going to have to, you're going to have to work on preparing a personal governing values or personal ethics code uh, document that describes what you really believe in and what you really believe is important. Uh, that's going to be an interesting assignment for you, but in some lots it's going to be a little bit difficult. You're also going to have to develop a personal action plan. What are you going to do to live ethically in this very difficult ethical environment? And we're also going to be asking you to commit to influencing other people to live ethically. Uh, there are many cases that we're going to be talking about where people could have stepped in, peers, bosses, other people could have stepped in and influenced somebody uh, to be able to behave better. So that's a very important part of this class, is for you to look at your own behavior in terms of how you influence others in terms of their ethical behavior. I'm not here to make you feel comfortable. That's not the purpose of this class. This class, in some sense, is to afflict you with pangs of conscience and to get you to look introspectively at your beliefs, carefully evaluate your beliefs, not necessarily to abandon them, but to understand the strengths and weaknesses of those beliefs and where those beliefs might leave you vulnerable and where those beliefs might need to be adjusted a little bit. But I'm not here to tell you what to believe. I'm not here to tell you what kinds of things are right and wrong. We'll hint at a few things that I think are right and wrong. And in our discussions, you guys will be putting stuff on the table that you think are right or wrong. And that's okay. But ultimately, the decision comes to you. You're the one that really needs to be making these ethical ethic ethically positive choices and decisions and acting in an ethical fashion. There are Goliaths out there. They're wild and hairy. And you're going to face them. There's no way to escape them. So if that's the case, then you need to prepare for them. So one of the big questions in this class is, how do I prepare for those ethical dilemmas that I am surely going to face when I get out into the arena of life? And actually, you're already in the arena, right? You're already facing some of those ethical dilemmas. So we're going to laugh together, cry together. We're going to be better for it. We're going to have some fun but we're also going to have some very anxious moments. So tighten your skates. Welcome to the rodeo. I look forward to working with you this semester. And uh, that's part one of the syllabus. And I'll be back in the next video to talk to you about part two. Take care.